welcome back to my channel. So today's video is exciting, okay? It's just exciting and I need to get it out into the world before it's too late. I have found the world's best dupe palette. So I'm just, it's a spoiler alert and this is not like me being over dramatic or anything because I sometimes do that, but honestly, this is, dupe palettes are getting scary good. They're getting scary good, okay? And there's one brand in particular that's doing it better than anybody else right now in my opinion, and that's Bad Habit Beauty, and you can find them, I don't know if you can find them anywhere else, but I know for sure you can find them on Shop Hush. So the, for the past week and a half, I've been testing out two different palettes, because I didn't want to come on here and do like a, you know, first impression review, because I think that those are stupid. Um, I wanted to come on here and like give you an actual review. I've been using these palettes both for a while, and I've been doing a lot of like, okay, I'm going to do one eye over here, I'm going to do one eye with the other palette, just to see like the differences. I've been doing a ton of different makeup looks and I'm here to say this palette, the Athena palette, is 125% a dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. So a little bit about this palette. This is $65 from Huda Beauty. You can buy this on Sephora or Huda Beauty's website. But yes, $65 and it cost me around $70 with tax. I will say I got this palette first. I was testing it out and I, you know, I don't really like Huda Beauty to be honest with you. I have a few problems. A lot of people have, you know, like social justice problems with Huda Beauty, but I have um, problems with their cruelty-free policies. They sell a lot of mink lashes on their website, but they market them as cruelty-free and I just don't like that. I like to be cruelty-free with my makeup, so um, mink lashes are just kind of against, you know, what I'm all about. So, and I know a lot of people also have problems with Huda Beauty, so if you don't want to buy from them, this is a great option. I'll just give you a little spoiler. It's This is the best dupe palette, in my opinion, of 2017, maybe ever. Probably ever, actually. I'll definitely get into why. I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on this look, and you're going to see me use both palettes. I want you guys to guess really quick which side you think is each palette. I did one eye with one palette, one eye with the other palette, and could you even dip, tell the difference? Can you really even tell that I used two different palettes? No. They're exactly the same. They're down to like even like teeny little glitters in each. It's crazy, but I will tell you, I think that the shimmers in this palette right here are so much better. So much better. And the mattes are a little bit more creamy than in the Huda Beauty palette. They're kind of dry in the Huda Beauty palette. Also the purples in this one, purples are really hard to get um, formula-wise. And in this palette, they are so much better. It's insane. It's insane. I know a lot of people are interested in, a, there's two like standout shades that I think people are most interested in. So Twilight and then this shade down here called Cosmo. I'll tell you right now, I don't use it in this tutorial, but I do use Cosmo. But Twilight is actually, I think it's better in this palette right here. I think they did a better job. It's a little bit more creamy and you don't have to build it up as much. Just so you guys know, it's just as good. It is just as good in the Athena palette, if not better. So it works really well. And then also this purple shade that you would probably typically use with it. It's um, The purple shade is better in the Athena palette than in this palette. So definitely something to think about. You guys will see my swatches and it'll all make sense. But they both perform really well. So I, I really think this is a good palette, but I just think, you know, the Athena one's better to be honest. But um, I want to talk about this Cosmo shade really quickly because it rocked my world. When I saw they were coming out with this Athena palette, online, I was like, oh, you know what? That's gonna be awesome, you know? It's gonna be awesome for shimmer shades, but there's no way they're ever gonna be able to dupe this glitter shade because it's very hard. Um, I assume it's probably, you know, a little bit more expensive to do a glitter shade, and it's a really difficult formula because it's literally a glitter. It's a pressed glitter in here. And you need like a glitter glue and everything, but it's a glitter. And it's like a chunky, beautiful glitter. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It's the one that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. So I thought, you know, when they came out with it, there's no way they're gonna be able to dupe that. They can probably do the shimmer shades and the matte shades, but there's no way they're gonna do the glitter. I got this palette and I almost screamed because not only did they dupe the glitter, it's not that Vaseline cheap glitter. It's exactly the same formula, exactly the same undertones, different glitter shades. It's the same glitter. It is the same glitter and it is so good. It is stunning. It's stunning. I'll just say it right now. So 
I'm obviously I'm very over the moon with this palette. I want to show you guys how it works So you guys are gonna see my tutorial next and then after that you're gonna see swatches You guys can decide for yourselves if you want to buy it But just so you guys know I will have it linked below if you're like, oh my god I don't even need to see the tutorial. I just want to go buy the palette I'm gonna link it below you can buy it on shop hush and hopefully it's in stock But they're really good about restocking so just kind of you know, maybe follow them on Instagram I'm not I don't have to say this. They're not telling me to say this or anything, but you can maybe follow them on Instagram I follow them on Instagram. So I I see when their um, restocks are. Also, you can download their app and you can get free shipping on any order, no minimum purchase necessary on their app. So it's really good. And then I also have a discount code if you do want to do it um, online. So anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so first out of the Huda Beauty palette, I'm going to go in with this shade. It's called Desert Sand. And by the way, I love both of these palettes. Like, I was surprised that the Huda Beauty one was as good as it is, but you're going to see the, uh, the $10 one is like, crazy but I love when palettes have shades like desert sand because it's just the perfect it sets your base it's it's like I need that I love when palettes have it it's like one of my favorite things it really is and if it, a palette doesn't have it I, it feels incomplete out of the Athena palette I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called purity purity in the Athena palette actually might be a little bit more um, how do you say pigmented? <laughs> but anyway, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Eden right here. I'm gonna go in with a large fluffy brush. I like this shade, it's a gorgeous transition shade. And then on the Athena palette, I'm gonna take this shade. Okay, do you guys see a difference with those? Not really. I'm tempted to take the Athena palette and like fix this side. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this side looks way more blended in person. Just saying. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. It's called Blazing. That's in the Huda Beauty palette. All right, so that's what that one looks like. And then out of the Athena palette, I'm going in with the shade Lore, which is right there. I will say, I don't really notice a ton of kick up with either of these palettes, which I like. I don't really like a lot of kick up. Okay, so those are both eyes side by side. Do you see a difference yet? <laughs> I don't see one. Do you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna take Amber, also same brush, and I'm just gonna take it um, on my outer corner a little bit, just to make it a little bit more red. I just wanna use more colors. I'm taking the shade Heroic. By the way, these palettes are exactly the same size, like next to each other. If you put them on top of each other, they're the same exact size, which is like crazy. The price difference is just crazy. Like it just is. Okay, anyway. Are you seeing a difference yet? Not really, still. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shade in this corner. It's the darkest shade in the palette. It's like a dark brown. It's called Oud. Not really sure how to say that word, but whatever. I'm just putting that in my outer corner. And then I'm gonna go in with blazing again and I'm just gonna like soften the edges of that blend I just did. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Clever right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and soften the edges again with this color. Like every time I use this palette, I'm like, how? Like how is this $10? How? How is it only $10 and that one's $65? Why wouldn't you buy this palette? Wait till you see the glitter, you're gonna freak. You're gonna freak out. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter glue and lay that down first because these shades, these shadows really need a glitter glue. I have the glitter laid down, so I'm gonna go in with Cosmo right here. These are seriously, by the way, these are really just, I think they're the coolest thing ever, especially that they're in an eyeshadow palette in this form. I don't really know how they did that, but it's so cool. So that's the glitter on my eye. For It's, it's a gorgeous shade. It's got like purple, pink, and orange reflex in it, and just like, red glitters it's 
amazing. Are you ready for this? So I'm gonna just put down the same NYX glitter glue on the other side. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. It's called Daring. Just wait for this, okay? Just wait for this. Do you guys see a difference between either of these? I literally, I seriously, I don't see a difference at all. There is no, I'm looking right now, I'm looking, there's no difference. There's no difference in like the formula of the glitter. I thought it was gonna be because with inexpensive palettes, they're usually like that Vaseline gross glitter. I don't know how they did that. I don't know how they made this $10. I really don't. I really, I can't figure it out. Like how do they make, they make so many dupe palettes, but this is like, I think this might be the best one that they've made just because the glitter in here has like, I I honestly, I it looks like I did my eyes with the same palette. Why would you even buy the $65 one? Why would you even buy it? It's $10, it's $10, it's cruelty free. Wow, it's just a wow, it's a wow. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Lore shade, just a teeny bit on this little brush right here. It's that orangey shade and then out of this palette, I'm taking Blazing. And that's it. I'm just gonna finish with a little bit of mascara and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so you just saw my swatches. These shimmer shades truly are better in the Athena palette, and they, they work so well in the eyes, especially if you spritz them or use a glitter glue under them. Incredible, incredible. They really are. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope you get your hands on the palette. Let me know if you've got it already or if you do end up ordering it. It's a great Christmas gift to give somebody and or somebody that just wants the palette or somebody who's starting out in makeup. It's just, it's a good palette for anybody, honestly. It's got gorgeous colors, gorgeous selection, and I use it all the time. I reach for it all the time. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!